Before we get into today's video, I did want to let you guys know that this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. I hope you all are having a wonderful week so far. Before we get into all of the new juicy information that has come out, I wanted to tell you guys, I'm sure y'all are like, okay, Christina, where are you at? I'm actually currently in Texas. One of my children has an event this week. And so we made it here like at 2.30 a.m. Traffic was crazy to get from Florida to Texas. There was a bunch of accidents. God bless anybody that was in those accidents. But I just wanna show y'all this room real quick. Like, look at this, it's like a little, it's a theater. It's a theater room. Serious goals, right? We are gonna be talking about Monday, Tuesday, and half of Wednesday, which is today I'm filming this. I'm gonna be getting this up for you guys this evening. You guys have been emailing me and, and over on my Instagram and oh my gosh, I need to know what you think. And I got all of the good stuff for you guys. Before we get into it though, I did want to let you guys know, if you don't know, hi, my name is Christina. I do have a second channel, which is Casually Christina. We just do things more casually over there. I also have a Patreon. My Patreon is for 18 and up. Over there, we do more personal story times. We go live over there. And we also have a $2 tier over there where we do all the true crime stuff that can't go on to YouTube. We go over like crime scene photos and stuff like that over there. And then I also have an Instagram as well as a Facebook. And those are always linked down in the description box if you'd like to come and check me out, y'all. I got my PJs on the bottom and a cute shirt on top. Okay, we're going to get this done today. So if you guys have been following the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial this week, your head has probably been spinning like mine has. Before we get in to what has happened specifically with Amber Heard, I did find out that allegedly I was not there. This whole entire video is alleged. For entertainment purposes, you guys go and do your own research and form your own opinions. But allegedly, Elon Musk and James Franco were on the witness list to testify for Amber. Okay? They were on the witness list, but they have since been removed for whatever reason. If I had to guess, I would think it would be because of all of the negative publicity that they're seeing. Because this is the thing, as far as I understand it, with this trial with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Since this is not a criminal trial, they do not have to testify. If it was a criminal trial and you get subpoenaed as a witness, you have to testify. You don't have no choice. But since this is a lawsuit, they can back out at any time. And they allegedly did, which I find super interesting. I also find it interesting that James Franco was even going to testify at all, especially when there is a video, a surveillance video of the ECB where Johnny Depp owns a penthouse suite. You guys remember the other video where the security guard testified and all of that? Well, they've got allegedly James Franco, this is the video here, coming up the elevator with Amber Heard after she went down to get him because you have to go down and you have to open it and let the people up. I mean, Johnny Depp lives here. A lot of, this is in downtown Beverly Hills. You can't just walk up there and go up into the penthouse suite. Da, 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 da. So she goes down, gets him, brings him back up. He's got a backpack on his back, okay? Looks like an overnight bag. And mind you, this was right after the fight between Amber and Johnny Depp, which also shows me right there, she must not have been too afraid of him, in my opinion, because those of you guys that know that have been in true relationships, you would never do something like this. It would be a full out, you, you know, okay? You know, you would be terrified of this type of thing. However, it seems to me like Amber Heard was playing games again. It's like she wanted it to get back to Johnny Depp to make him jealous, okay? That's just my personal opinion. You got to have some real serious to do that right after the fight. Bring him straight on up in the elevator to, and, and that's Johnny Depp's penthouse? 
Anyway, so let's keep going here. If you guys did not hear, Amber Heard allegedly fired her whole PR team. Amber does not like how she is looking in the media and to the public, but I have news for Amber Heard. If she, it's not her PR team's fault. It is Amber's actions fault that got her in this situation. It's not her PR team, not her lawyers. They doing, uh, uh, you know, uh, a two out of five star review type of thing, but whatever. But she fired her whole entire PR team and hired another one. Baby, you're going to need a lot more than a PR team to, you know, change your reputation. At this point, you are going to literally, literally need a come to Jesus moment and let him change you from the inside out. And then it's still going to take time because right now people are seeing allegedly her true colors. I also wanted to say that I heard that because this is a civil suit, a lawsuit, Johnny Depp is, that's why he's allowed to have like all of these different experts testify. And that's why this is such a long trial. If this was a criminal case, he would not be allowed to have a lot of the witnesses that he's had. So it's almost like, and I'm saying almost because I don't know, I'm not inside Johnny Depp's head, but in my opinion, Johnny Depp has done this whole entire thing and wanted it public because he wants his truth out there, which is actually super intelligent of Johnny Depp to do it this way. Also, if you guys did not hear, after Johnny Depp rest his case with all of his witnesses yesterday, which was on Tuesday, Amber Heard's attorneys came up and tried to get the case dismissed, okay, before she had any witnesses. Now, I find that very, very flip-flop and funny, honey, because you are countersuing him for $100 million. Now, if you thought your case, that you had a case, you ain't even had a first witness up yet. Something's going on between her and them lawyers and that PR team and her. I could just see her now. She's probably throwing herself all over the place at the house, y'all. You just know those recordings of her like flipping out with Johnny Depp, right? You know she is all the way on the floor, honey. Got her legs kicking up in the air, just crying. Just, ah, ah, because I can't do this. I don't want to go on the scene. I don't want to, I don't want to. Because for her to throw out a case where she has a hundred million dollars on the line, she must not have too much confidence in her side, which is really making me wonder because this whole time we're like, what is her side gonna be? Well, so they tried to get it dismissed, but yesterday we were in a big 15 passenger van with my family, my mother-in-law, my husband's grandmother and you know, Papa and the dogs and the cat and all of us is laid up and we've all got our tablets or whatever. And we're watching the trial and we're talking back and forth and I'm texting my friends about it. And it's just like this whole thing. And when Amber's team tried to get the case dismissed, we're all like, don't dismiss it. Don't dismiss it now. Oh no, baby, we want to hear what you got to say. And when the judge said no, we were like, all right, so, and then after that, Amber Heard's team called Amber Heard's first witness. And it is a psychologist that did allegedly a full entire like analysis on her, spoke with her, spent 29 hours with her. And she said that Amber Heard does have PTSD from her professional opinion. And she said that she doesn't have, she didn't diagnose her with BPD or any of the other things that Johnny Depp's forensic psychologist diagnosed her with. And this is when things got a little sticky if you guys were watching this. Now, this witness's name is Dr. Dawn Hughes, and she is an expert witness for Amber, and she is a clinical and forensic psychologist. Now, some of the things, if you listen to her talk, first of all, no shame to her as a person. But in the beginning, it was such a snooze fest for me as you know, you, it takes a lot to keep my attention. Okay. I was like, Oh my God, how can we fast forward through this live trial? Because get to it. This is so boring. Put some bass in your voice or something. Not saying she's boring, but like the first hour of her speaking was a bit boring. Okay. But anybody that listened to her could tell right off of the bat that this psychologist seemed to have a bias, okay? Not just for Amber, although very much for Amber, but also for women. Every example she used or spoke of, she used the men being the perpetrator and the women being the victim. But I'm not typically one that picks people's words apart like that, but this was just so blatantly 
obvious, in my opinion, that she has this bias. Now, later in cross-examination, which I've only heard a little bit of it today, because like I said, I'm filming this on Wednesday, and on Friday, I'll catch up with the rest of the trial for the rest of the week. She said that she doesn't have a bias, da 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 but it really sure sounded like it. Now, her expert opinion come from speaking to Amber, for 29 hours, she said, and looking through all of Amber's like depositions or things that she said or talked about. And she very much talked about Amber being the victim and Johnny Depp being the And the way she was talking was like she knew. Like everything was so a matter of fact, like when Johnny Depp did this, 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 this to Amber, this caused that, but it's like, how can you say that? You're not you weren't there. Like, and I understand she was doing an evaluation on her, but you're still taking this person's word for it. Now, it's very interesting because Johnny Depp's forensic psychologist, Miss Curry, who baby is the bomb.com, and she's sitting in the front row of the courtroom right now as we speak. And a lot of people were wondering how she could do that since she was a witness. But it is said the fact that Dr. Curry is an expert witness in this trial, she is allowed to sit in there in case there will be rebuttals. And there's probably going to be rebuttals. And let me tell you something, Dr. Curry looked good sitting up there too, baby. I'm like... She got the brains and the beauty and she's sitting up there like she does not play. Now, Johnny Depp's attorneys really gave Dr. Hughes a hard time because in the beginning, when she was talking about Amber, it seemed like she was just reading a script. Um, and then she transferred care to Dr. Connell Cohen, who was referred by Dr. Kipper, who was um, the treating physician for uh, Mr. Depp and then uh, later for Miss Hurd and she treated with Dr. Cohen from um, after she left Dr. Bonnie Jacobs in September 2014 to June 7th, 2016. So I administered... Um, Objection here, say Your Honor. She can refresh her recollection. As long as she's not reading it. Right, you just can't read. That You're not supposed to read from it, but you can refresh your recollection as you're speaking. So I can look and just look up and that's refreshing my recollection? Okay. All right, if we could approach for a moment. Did anybody else see that? When she was answering the questions of Amber Heard's attorneys, everything she said came, it's like she didn't have to think about anything, which to me was very bizarre. It was like they rehearsed this over and over and over again. And then it would come out later when Johnny Depp's attorney cross-examined that Dr. Hughes was hired by Amber Heard's legal team Okay. And Amber Heard's legal team has worked with this doctor in the past for these types of cases before. So it really made it seem like they worked together, Amber Heard's legal team and this doctor for cases such as this. Obviously, Amber Heard's legal, legal team wants to win. Okay, they're going to get a percentage of this $100 million. I don't know what it is for famous people, but I know for regular folk, it's usually 30%. That's going to be $30 million to split between them four, honey. That is a lot of money. They want to win this. They got to do what they got to do. And it seems like that's exactly what they're doing. Now, another thing that aggravated me about watching Dr. Hughes' testimony was that she was asked by Johnny Depp's legal team if she was getting paid to testify. Okay. And she is indeed getting paid to testify $500 an hour, which baby go off. Anybody else feel like they're in the wrong business? $500 an hour. I like to talk to sir. Can I get up there? You know what I mean? But what aggravated me about that, not the fact that she's making $500 an hour, but the fact that Amber Heard's attorneys asked the CPA, remember how I told y'all that in my last video about how like they were hammering on uh, all of Johnny Depp's witnesses saying that they had some sort of interest. Well, the CPA that works for Johnny Depp was getting paid $750 an hour. Like, okay, Pawpaw, $750 an hour. We know dinner and drinks is on you at this point. But they made it seem like that's the only reason why he was testifying, but yet oh, their first witness is getting paid five hundred dollars an hour. So how are y'all? How are y'all gonna make it seem like that? Y'all are doing the same doggone thing, right? However, I don't think it's a bad idea to pay these people for their time. Again, remember this is not a criminal case; they do not have to be there. Another thing is they're in Virginia, which means they have to take time away from their families, time away from work. They have to fly to another state. They have to go through all this. They have to be in the public eye. Like there is nothing wrong with paying them. If I was in, let's say Johnny Depp's position, 
and I had the money, I would be more than happy to pay people for their time because it is their time they're taking away from their job, their family, they're getting on a plane, they're, you know, get, getting ready to be picked apart by the country, maybe even the world. So, but I just thought it was kind of shady that Amber Heard's attorneys tried to use that as a discrediting factor for Johnny Depp's witnesses, but yet they're doing the same exact thing. So Amber Heard's attorneys, I'm gonna need y'all to have several seats over there from now on, okay? Also with Dr. Hughes, she spoke on the fact that Amber Heard thought that she could fix Johnny Depp and save him from his drug problems and his drug abuse and get him help and fix him like every other victim. This is what this Dr. Hughes is, is saying about Amber. Um, and she also believed that she could fix him just like she tried to fix her father and just like she tried to fix her mother. She truly, truly believed that she could fix Mr. Depp and rid him of his substance abuse problems. But that did not work. And I'm sitting there listening to this in this van of 15 people with my cat crawling all over the place and the dogs wanting a treat, you know what I mean? And I got pillows all over me and I'm just wanting to scream because I'm thinking Amber Heard thought she could save him. Uh, didn't they serve MDMA and uh, magic mushrooms at their wedding on a platter? Okay, isn't this the same woman who was drinking multiple bottles of wine a day, $500 a bottle of wine at that, but she thought she could fix him and save him from his problems. Give me a break. That is the most ridiculous talking point. Oh, and listen to this, you guys. To me, this was like, Johnny Depp's attorneys, when cross-examining Dr. Hughes, asked her all of her findings, which mind you, she gets up there and says that Johnny Depp essayed Amber Heard, and I'm gonna try to lightly get through this because I don't wanna get, you know, you know how YouTube is, right? But he essayed her. Now the thing she said was one time Amber Heard was standing in the closet and she says Johnny Depp took his fingers and put them inside of her and snatched her around. Okay, first of all, baby girl, it was Amber Heard standing in the closet with her legs spread wide open and he just, whoop, come with me. Like, I, 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 need, I need more information on this because I don't see that. I don't really understand how that happened. Not to say it can't happen because I'm sure it does happen, but is she, does she know the same Amber Heard as me? Because Amber Heard, the one that we, she's a fighter, baby. But anyways, I want to be very careful with this because if she is indeed a victim at any point, I, but I'm, I'm struggling with it. I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm very much struggling because let me tell you the rest and I'll tell you why. Okay. Dr. Hughes also said that Johnny Depp took a liquor bottle and essayed Amber with it and that he made Amber give him uh, oral and forced it upon her many times and forced himself on her many times, okay? Let me say this part first. The attorneys, because first of all, Dr. Hughes talked again, very a matter of fact, like she was there, okay? So when Johnny Depp's attorneys got up there to cross-examine, they asked her, first of all, were you there? She's like, of course not, of course not. I'm taking a, I'm taking a report, a, an account of what Amber is telling me. And so they said, okay, so everything you know about Amber is what Amber told you, right? And she was like, yeah, of course, that's my job. And they were like, but Amber Heard didn't tell you any of these things until after Johnny Depp filed the lawsuit. Now to me, that's a big, big deal. None of these certain allegations or anything like this allegedly as of now, according to this doctor, came out or went to a professional until Johnny Depp filed this lawsuit, which is really strange to me, okay? So because of that, I'm gonna say what I'm thinking about the other aspect. Now, again, there are many victims of SA and all kinds of abuse out there. Men, women, children, we know that, right? No gender is immune, right? However, I find it really hard that this Johnny Depp, the same one that was passed out on the floor in the fetal position, the same one sleeping with an ice cream in his hand, okay? The same one that Amber is chasing around while he is slamming cabinets and throwing paper around in his cowboy hat and his sunglasses at seven o'clock in the morning drinking his mega pint of wine after his mother's passed away and she's filming him giggling, you know, after it's done and setting him up and pretending like, like, oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? I have a hard time that this Johnny Depp 
has forced himself on her in this way. And she, and, but then again, maybe it happened because I don't know. And I got to be careful about these types of things. Now, I do know that some people like rough, you know what I mean, and did maybe that happen? And then when, when the lawsuit come out and she got nervous, she turned around and she's using certain things to, because I don't know. I mean, people put all kinds of things inside of them. You guys can Google it. People go into the ER with gerbils, honey. And, you know, the ER people are trying to figure out, like, ma'am, you said you were having gas pains, but when I did this x-ray on you, I'm seeing a hamster up there scratching, trying to get out. Y'all know what I'm talking about. People are into all different types of things. But I find it very interesting that none of these accusations, according to Dr. Hughes, so far, were told until after Johnny Depp filed the lawsuit. So seems really strange to me. And then also, if all of this is true, why are they trying to dismiss? Why were they trying to dismiss the case? Okay. So seems, seems a little crazy. What do y'all think? Are y'all excited for Amber Heard to testify? Let me tell y'all something. Her facial expressions have not disappointed. She learned from the UK trial, you know, and so now she's doing, she's Baby, let me tell you something. On Tuesday, she was trying so hard to squeeze a tear out. I was watching her. I was like, you can do it. Get that tear out, girl. Get it out. Oh, I sound like I'm being mean. Y'all, I, I have my real opinions about Amber, okay? I'm going to try to hold out to the end, but I think you guys can really feel my undertone about this. And I do want to say again, and I know this makes some of y'all mad, but it's the truth of how I feel. I don't think Johnny Depp was a perfect husband. Okay. I don't think he was. And I think that he's probably learned a really big and painful and extremely expensive lesson. And unfortunately, everybody that loves Johnny Depp is being affected by this, like his children. It really sucks. And I bet you he won't get himself in one of these situations again. But man, this is, this is difficult. This is difficult for him too. And he made some bad decisions that kept him in this situation. You know, but what do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Until Friday, y'all, I hope she testifies. I hope she does. We're going to be here. I'll see y'all on Friday. I love you guys, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye. We are, we are dreaming in the dark. We are nothing more than dust. Search, but you stay lost. We are.